Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. 18 after 6 on this Friday. Welcome back. Well, from some frigid temps to now frigid temps and snow. Yeah, we got snow chances mm -hmm. to talk about for the weekend that might slow things down for some folks. Now, some warm air may also slow down some mm -hmm. of those chances for high numbers for some as well. Uh, I want to explain here this morning, not so warm unless you're in the west. We've got some 20s out there, Hedinger and Beach at uh, 20 and 21, but the rest of us are um, many single digits and even double digits sub zero 18 below in Rolla right now 10 below in mine on eight above in Bismarck but here's the wind chill uh, we've been down to 40 below this morning uh, right there at it still in Rolla 26 below in Minot so we've got this wind chill advisory this will last until noon today but keep in mind that once this is lifted at noon we'll still keep these low wind chills throughout the day today we're still talking sub zero so it is going to be a cold day uh, this afternoon so here are those high single digits we'll still say sub zero off towards the east and we'll keep those and 20s in the west. So here's the snow. Uh, we've got chances not just Saturday but into Sunday and we've got the best chance today off towards the west. Here's 4 p.m. You can see there mostly a, a tiny chance there but as we continue on into the weekend we'll pull in a little more moisture and we're going to pull in some warmer air as well. So you can see this chance for a mix off towards the west into Saturday. Widely scattered snow into Saturday it could get a, give us a light accumulation. But notice what's going to happen into Sunday. Sunday, we're going to pull in some warmer air. So what that's going to do is any snow that's already fallen might even melt it a little bit, especially when you have rainfall on top of that or a mix. Uh, and that could happen into Bismarck, certainly into Dickinson and into Williston. We've got some 30s to talk about for Sunday in the West. But then cold air funnels in Sunday afternoon into uh, overnight, Sunday night, Monday morning. And that changes us all into snow. And that, this is where we can see our the bulk of our accumulation. And it depends on uh, really how long we hold on to that warm air as to how much snow we really could get. So I'm going to show you some numbers on the high end so you can prepare for that. But really these numbers could be a little lower once we start getting a little closer. As we get into Monday though, notice the wind speeds are going to still stay pretty windy and we're going to continue just funneling in colder air back behind that system. So again, I want to prepare you for some higher numbers, but keep in mind this is still three days out. So I'm telling you this because it's Friday and I want you to be prepared for Monday morning. Uh, this pink here is going to be that five to eight inch range and slightly more under the those darker colors, but notice that, you know, this could really shift a little bit to the east and these numbers could be diminished a bit if we continue to pull in some warmer air. The takeaway is that Monday morning is going to be a slick morning for many of us uh, and maybe some high impact the further east you go. We'll be watching the snow into the weekend, but prepare for that, especially on Sunday. Now the lows tonight, uh, sub-zero off towards the east and highs tomorrow back into the 20s and 30s for a lot of us. So we are going to warm up a bit for the weekend. But the next uh, kind of headline maker here is going to be next week, that really surge of cold air that moves down towards the uh, upper plains here. We've got this weekend a nice little warm up there, but then you can see these uh, couple of surges that will move into the upper plains, uh, not just into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, but also into Thursday and possibly Friday. You can see there just how cold the temperatures are going to get and they'll stay cold uh, and some of the higher population centers down towards Chicago and Minneapolis as well. So we'll be hearing a lot about this, uh, not just for, from us, but also on the national news front as well. We've got some historic lows coming uh, for a lot of folks into next week. But keep in mind, we're on the edge of really the western edge of this Arctic air. So things could shift. These numbers could rise just a little bit as we get into next week. But prepare for some really frigid, very dangerous air temperatures, even without the wind chill. You can see there in Minot, we could see double digits, sub-zero, uh, certainly sub-zero there for Bismarck as well. So we're going to be preparing for um, not just uh, wind chill advisories, but more than likely wind chill warnings. Mm -hmm. And we'll be watching where that Arctic air actually does end up falling. Because again, we're on the western fringe of that, which changes a lot for us if mm. it shifts yeah. to the east a bit. And KX News over the weekend will continue to track things Absolutely. Uh, as it uh, develops. Okay, All right, thanks, thank Anna. you, Amber. Keep it with us on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead. A fairy tale of a.